As the great JFK once said, we go to the moon not because it is easy, but because it is hard. But tying a bow tie is nowhere near like going to the moon. But the only aspect is that it is hard and it's not something people really want to try to do. Today, I will be demonstrating the many steps of how to tie a bow tie. First, you have to pick a bow tie. As you can see, I have a, a very various selection right here. And then, you have to adjust the bow tie. The adjusting process isn't that difficult, as I will explain. And lastly, actually tying the bow tie. Tying a bow tie is a great way to spice up your attire, whether that be formal or informal. So now, can I have a volunteer? RJ, come up here, please. All right, so now we're gonna go through the process of picking a bow tie. You have to look at them and you have to decide whether or not it is a color that you want or if it looks cool or if you just wanna make a fashion statement. So go ahead and pick up a tie. I'll take this one. Very nice choice, very nice choice. Thank you. I myself will pick this one up. Take a second. So, now that we've picked the bow tie, we have to adjust the size. So on the back here, There's a hook, there's a hook, and there's a bunch of slots for the hook. Obviously, if you put it in the, the hook that's farthest away from the loop right here, you're gonna get the smallest tie possible. But then, if you take the hook out and you put it on the closest loop to the hook, you're gonna get the absolute largest bow tie that you could possibly get. I don't know how big this neck has to be, but pretty big. So after you choose a slot that you think your neck will be in, you have to place it around your neck or around your collar as he has it gestured on. Yeah, you're doing a great job. That's okay. You don't have. To. Right. So the fir very first thing you need to do is you need to make like any bow tie or any tie in general is that you have to kind of like stagger the two sides. This is so that when you actually get the next step ready, it's one side's not too long over the other. So the next step is crossing this part right here over to top. And then next, you have to loop it underneath. After you're done with this step, you kind of just tighten it and throw it off of your shoulder. This part is very important because it sets a nice firm base. Just like anything in life, you need to have a solid structure to go off with. Now in that very next step, is grabbing this part that's dangling down. You kind of need to fold it so that it already looks like a bow tie. This is important because it just gives you a visual of how it's already gonna look, how big it's gonna start looking. Now the very next step is grabbing this part of the tie over here that's over your shoulder and pulling it down over top of this bow tie you just created. Now, this, is part, this part is very important. You need to fold the bow tie that you created, that little shape, and the next step is kind of difficult. As some of you may can see, there is a loop right here. There's a loop kind of right there. There's a hole. Yeah. There's a hole right here. The next step is you have to grab this part right here and you have to push it through that loop right there. Doing great, RJ. Thank you. This, that is important because it sets up the two layers of the bow tie. Now this part is tricky. The adjusting process is you have to pull and tug on these big loops in the back as a way to tighten this part and a way to tighten this back part. <clears throat> and then the next step is just straightening it out so that both sides are even. Great job. Thank you. Alright. Now that you've tied a bow tie, it is a, you can you notice that it is a great way to look better and, if not even feel better, about the way you look. But most of you probably disagree with JFK that the easy route is probably the best way to go. But if you do not do hard decisions, like going to the moon and tying a bow tie, extra, you know, extraordinary actions would cease to exist today. But with tying up the bow tie, hard decisions will persevere in today's society.